Hey, hon, how do I look in my Bond body armor Airtex shirt? Looking great. Yeah? Yeah. Look good? Yeah. Wanna go upstairs? Okay. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing something really fun. I got a Bond body armor jacket. Yep, I even left myself a note. Bond, not bone. I asked Jody how to pronounce it and that's what she said. So that's what I'm going with. And by the way, before we get started, this video is not sponsored. No, Bond doesn't even know that I have this. Well, they might know, but either way, I won it from Purple on 3's 1000 subscriber giveaway. So thanks, Jody. I'm super pumped. I haven't had a new jacket in four years. I've been wearing this, my Joe Rocket mesh jacket with the liner out of it all summer. And it's got shoulder and elbow and a back pad so it's got some padding i don't think it's the greatest but it works and well i haven't really tested it <laughs> i haven't fallen on the bike since 2018 so it uh it's untested but probably it's just fine but this promises to be an improvement so first thing i noticed packaged upside down see the logo and the opening but that's okay we don't care about the packaging right and I know that camera's moving around a little bit. It's on a it's on a selfie stick thingy. I, I got creative with it. But I was given the choice of size and color. And today we're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna unpackage it, obviously. And then I'm gonna put it on and go for a ride and give you my first impressions. And we're gonna compare it to that Joe Rocket jacket I showed you a minute ago. In the package is a packing list, the jacket, and we got a Bond sticker. Yep, good times. And some stuff where they're shown. It's a very cool sticker. I'll be putting that on my wall of stickers. And a special message. It says, John, congrats on winning the Armored Air Tech shirt, the Bond team. Look at that. Yeah, how cool is that? I love it. And I know the lighting could be better today, but hey, it's also windy and we're just gonna roll with it. Can you see the wind? Can you see the wind behind me from that camera? Yeah, it's crazy. So this is the Air Tech jacket and this one has armor and it's got all the it's got all the instructions, care and feeding and all that stuff. Armor installation, yep, it's already installed. Outstanding, and washing. And you know what, you could probably read this online, so I'll skip that part. In the armor description there, you can see it's got back protection and arm and elbow protection and shoulder protection. So probably just a little bit more protection than that Joe Rocket jacket I showed. We're doing a comparison video today. You gotta compare things. Otherwise, it's just stats. I was reading somewhere the other day and they were like, it's five times more sensitive than everything else. And I go, yeah, but that gives me no frame of reference. So today I'm giving you a frame of reference. Oh, look at that. Yes, I want to be more like PSP Tommy G. So I chose the same color. Actually, they've got like 12 different colors, I think. And they had like a high vis orange and some other colors. And I just want it to be visible and it doesn't look like it has any reflective stuff on it. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'll leave a card, but it's uh, it's bright and it's blue. So it sort of matches my bike, but it's white. And I plan to wear this in the summertime. So it would behoove me to have a light color because the Joe Rocket jacket is good from about 50 degrees on a street glide or 65 or 70 on my uh, unfaired bikes to about 85, 90. And after that, it's just pretty much kind of misery. Yep, we're filming live here. There's cars driving in the background while I put the jacket on or shirt. This is the AirTech shirt. Oh, look at that. So it said in the instructions, it should be snug, but allow free range of movement for your limbs. Oh my God, I, I feel kind of fat wearing this thing. You can see my belly. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go on a diet, but this is really cool. Okay, so it's got the sleeves with the nice cuffs here. And you can see my skin through that. Look at that. I know this is gonna breathe well, and it puts the armor right there where I need it. And this is ECE2 armor, I believe. It just says in the manual, the highest certification level of motorcycle protection available. So that's pretty much gonna be ECE2, but it puts them in just the right spots. So their sizing guide is, uh, is right on point. I mean, I'm not thin of midsection here, but I don't feel constrained and it comes down just far enough. So this is a 2XL and I think my wife measured me at like 44 inches on the dot. So a 1XL will be a little small. 2XL, that, that, that's where I'm at. 
I really need to go on a diet, but it fits great. And you notice the back protector, the back protector, you can feel it there, but it's not obtrusive. And same thing with the armor uh, elbow pads here. And then you've got the shoulder pads. Man, this is nice. I like it. Thank you, Jody. This is awesome. <laughs> Hope it doesn't mind coffee stains. I'm done spilling my coffee on my morning commute, by the way. So this thing fits great. Oh yeah. So compared to this jacket, it's like a third of the weight. And we're gonna go real scientific here with my calibrated scale hands. Yep, I'm gonna say it's at least two thirds lighter, if not three quarters lighter. It might even be 80% lighter there. I've just mixed all sorts of numbers together. But this one you can see has big body armor in the back. Same thing, shoulder pads and elbow pads with the arm pads. So very, very similar. These are shorter. The, sh the Joe Rocket has shorter pads on the elbows than this. This goes all the way up to here, folks. All the way up to here. That's crazy talk. Yes. And hopefully I don't look too goofy riding around, but we're going to do that next. I did want to point out before we went for our ride that I Jody tells me that in the cooler months, you can wear this underneath a leather jacket or something else. I wouldn't wear it under this with the armor because that's double armor and it'll probably give us some movement issues. Hey, look, we're dancing. Woohoo, dancing. I'm so happy. I This is like the one piece of middleware that I need. And I was talking with my wife earlier. I called it a jacket. She's like, yeah, but you called it a shirt. Does it go under or over? Because if it goes over everything, it's outerwear. If it goes under everything, it's underwear. And if it's in the middle, it's middleware. I don't know anything about that. I'm like a dude that doesn't care about fashion at all. So I have no idea what any of that means. I do know that I'm wearing a t-shirt under it and I think that's recommended. I'm probably gonna end up with some really weird sun <laughs> suntan lines because this mesh is super breathable. I mean, let's look at that again. Look at this, look how wide open those pores are. That's just crazy. It is so light. It feels like I'm like not hardly wearing anything at all. This is great. So anyway, you can put stuff over it. You can put stuff under it. I have a leather jacket. So this fall, I'm going to test it out under the leather jacket. I bet it fits just fine because my leather jacket has like no padding. It actually makes me a little nervous because I'm so used to riding with padding here and padding here and padding on the back. So without any further ado, let's get out on a bike and it's 75 degrees. So I'm going to give you my first impressions of this thing. All right. Already at, what, 20 miles an hour, it feels like I'm wearing a t-shirt and nothing else. That open mesh really does work very well at allowing this thing to breathe. I'm just like super comfortable. And comfort is a big thing when you're riding a motorcycle. You wanna be comfortable because if you're not comfortable, then you're, you're not focused on the act of motorcycling. I'm not focused on it. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I'm looking ahead, don't worry. I'm, I'm watching the road for you, I'm watching. We're not gonna wreck today. Oh my gosh, look at that over there. Distraction, action. Oh my gosh, they're blowing the grass right into the road. Come on, buddy. Yeah, you know, I hear conflicting advice on the, the grass. See the grass there? I hear conflicting advice on it that it's not that slick and yada, 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 but I'm not testing that out. I'm not using the scientific method to test out that theory. Now mind you, I am behind, you know, the riot shield and the fairing and everything. So I am mostly getting the wind on my arms and a little bit across the back, but even if I sit up straight, it's it's just breathing so well. It's so comfortable. Let's see, we, yeah, look at that. Oh, it looks beautiful. This thing is absolutely stunning in person. The white, I think, really shows up well on camera, which, you know, is very important to a motor vlogger. <laughs> Let's wrap this video up with my first impressions and a quick review. First of all, here we are, here's the jacket. Yep, still in one piece. I think this thing is awesome. All right, this, uh, the, the way it fits is perfect. It leaves my watch visible when I'm riding so I can see what time it is, which on this bike, obviously I have a, a clock, 
but on my other bikes I don't, so I can keep track of the time because I'm always running late. But it, it fits so well and none of the, I got up to like highway speeds and stuff and none of the padding moved around, it all stayed and it wraps around the elbow here, which is really good because that's one of the first things to hit the ground if you go down. And also the back protector stayed in place, felt super cool, the big mesh really works. And I know I look like a goofball sitting on the side of the road, wearing a helmet, talking to a camera. <laughs> I wonder what these people are thinking, like, who's that guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy looked, <laughs> he was like, uh, what? <laughs> he drove, he damn near drove off the road. Dude, pay attention. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Hey, this is like awkward filming at its finest. Look, my perspective is Matt Gat. Most of all the gear all the time. I wear a half helmet, yes, I do. I'm, that, that's just who I am. But I always wear a jacket and I always wear boots and I always wear jeans and I always wear gloves. Where'd my gloves go? Oh, they're behind me. So I'm mostly protected all the time. And it really feels weird when I wear like my leather jacket that doesn't have the armor built in. So I think it's gonna add to my comfort level there. Cause if you're more comfortable, you're able to ride better. That's, that's my point of view, that's my opinion. You can feel free to disagree with me in the comments below. Also, before we end this, a huge shout out to Jody Purple on three and PSB Tommy G. I, I can't thank you guys enough for having the thousand subscriber giveaway. Congrats again on the 1K. So thank you guys so much. And thanks to Bond Body Armor for sending out this shirt for me to keep. <laughs> it's, it's mine, I love it. This is great. <laughs> I got like four jacket thingies now. Three jackets and a shirt. Yeah, this little shirt went to market. <laughs> All right, I'm so distracted. I'm gonna have some more coffee. I'm gonna ride home. Thank you guys for watching. What's up, buddy? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice looking bike. I have no idea what it is. He's wearing an Alpine Stars jacket. I don't know anything about them. But thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, boop the like button. Check out the on-screen content now, and I'll see you guys in the next video. John out.